Hi there, it's Yvonne here with Everdale Skincare and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a basically like your own natural carpet cleaner. It's so easy and there's three ingredients and that is water, baking soda, and vinegar. That's it. Why is it important to clean your carpets? Because they are disgusting and you will see how disgusting they are when you start cleaning them with a shampoo cleaner. I actually purchased one at a nearby store like Walmart um, or Target or whatever and it was about like 150 bucks. You don't need to like get crazy on buying a really expensive one and it works great. Um, I grew up on an island, the island of Palau, and we were always taught to leave your shoes outside. Like our shoes didn't even make it inside. And I have a friend who is a nurse and she always um, told me how, you know, when she works at the hospital, when she would get home, her shoes would always stay outside. And there's a lot of other um, workers at the hospital that do the same thing, which makes sense because it's kind of like you think like, what are they stepping on all day? You know, there's a lot of surgery and uh, people coming and going and all that stuff so makes you really think right and not only that but everywhere else that we go where we travel to where does the bottom of our feet where does it hit where does it go what does it touch so this is really interesting because i was at ah like no way um so more than 90 percent of bacteria including e coli is found on shoes um gross and it's transferred to tile or carpet that's nasty and then so this is according to the researchers um in 2016 from the, 2016 from the university of arizona the average shoe sole is covered with 421,000 bacteria yeah, you still want to wear your shoes in the house? You still want to wear your flip-flops in the house? Yeah, this is why I'm that crazy mom that's like, leave your shoes outside or, you know, by the front door or whatever. And my kids too, they go outside barefoot, but I don't know if that's as effective as the bottom of your shoe because it rains outside and all that stuff on the ground kind of, you know, gets washed away. So, but still, I'm telling them to wear their shoes outside because they can step on harm harmful objects. But yeah, with three kids, um, the carpets need clean. And I clean my carpets now, um, shampoo them, vacuum, and then shampoo them. So I shampoo the carpets. I try to do it like at least um, once every two months um, and more than that if I have the strength to because it is labor. I couldn't believe how much labor it is, but it is. But it's also a great workout. So the greatest part about vinegar and then you got your baking soda, are they're just great natural cleaning agents. So I'm gonna read a few things and I found these information from Dr. Ox. He's really great, it's doctor and then AXE. I recommend that you guys read his stuff because he's amazing and um, he's right on point and he's got a lot of great information about every topic you can think of out there. So vinegar possesses powerful antimicrobial properties, making it convenient and affordable and versatile option as a natural disinfectant. Isn't that great? So vinegar can help remove mold and prevent it too. Why not clean the carpets with it, right? And everything else. And then you got your baking soda, which is affordable. Um, it's a deodorizer and it's a soother and a cleanser. It's also antibacterial and antifungal. So why would you not clean with those two? Great stuff. I remember my aunt when she would clean the rooms with just vinegar and water. I was just like, oh my gosh, like it smells like vinegar. And now I just like, I'm used to it. I love it. Um, and even just reading like all these great benefits that it has to offer us and they're in our kitchen makes me so happy because I don't have to worry about like heavy uh, chemicals that one I would step on because our feet like absorbs everything wherever we step so like after cleaning the carpets I don't have to worry about what I'm stepping on and how much it's gonna affect me because there's no chemicals in it whatsoever or any toxic ingredients and so now I love it and now you understand why we use, uh, why my aunt was using um, vinegar because 
I'm reading about it and it's good stuff, right? And so I'm gonna show you guys my little thingy majigger that goes on the car shampoo carpet cleaner. This right here. And so baking soda, I put about, it's kind of like dissolved a bit, but you can see some white. I put about like that much baking soda and then, so baking soda here, that much vinegar, and then the rest is just water. That's it. And I shampoo like an entire room with this. Well, it depends on like a bedroom size room, right? So that's, I would use this much as for the bedroom. And if you feel like you need to like fill up this again and go another round, go for it. Um, I've done that and that's if I wait too long and I notice like my carpet is still dirty and you'll see, you'll see how dirty it is as you clean. So I hope that this video helped you. I hope that it was informative. Please don't forget to like and leave a comment and let me know what you think. Talk to you later and have a great one. Thank you. Bye.